What's up guys? As you can see from our uh, little intro there, we have the Traxxas hauler with the 110 rod shop bed on this truck and uh, we just kind of wanted to show it off a little bit there. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Uh, in this little second half of the video here, we're just kind of going to go over how it functions a little bit. A couple key fobs. Uh, we got the winch and the bed system. So come in and we'll check it out. Um, we did have the uh, the Traxxas Corvette in that video. We did end up uh, drilling a small hole in the back here for the winch hook. So just for those of you who are wondering about that, because there is really no other points to hook it to. Um, but the bed itself uh, is pretty cool. Uh, the controls we've kind of labeled here with a little bit of tape here, thanks to Justin here, because they're just labeled A, B, C, D. So it's a little hard to function without knowing. So now we got down, up, in and out. Uh, and then Traxxas, of course, comes with this winch. Um, so the biggest challenge with this setup, I'm just gonna we'll remove the body for now, um, was actually uh, the lights and the uh, power to the winch. Um, so the tracks is set up all runs off a three volt system up here in the, the cab portion of the system. And unfortunately, cause this goes out and up and down, and I'll show you the full, the range of motion here in a second. Uh, we actually had to wire in uh, our own lights. These are not the Traxxas lights. Uh, they're all wired in to the bed itself. And we have a small three cell battery Velcro to the back here. It's kind of the best solution we could come up with. Uh, so there's no wires that get pinched or anything. Um, we ran all of these to 12 volt LEDs I had to order. And then we ended up putting them in the rack as well, up in the back here. And then the winch is also running off the same battery. So the whole back half of the truck is a separate light system that we wired in because the 110 setup doesn't really give you a good light uh, solution as far as running a cable from here to there, which I don't knock them for. We sat here and racked our brains trying to figure it out too. So if those of you are wondering how we got the lights, that's how we did it. Uh, so for the overall functionality of the unit, it's actually pretty cool as you saw in the beginning there. That was 100% under its own power. Um, the winch, of course, uh, has in and out, and uh, you can also hit this, and you can free spool the winch as well. Um, so we we didn't free spool it in the beginning of the video just to show you that it's got in and out, and it's a pretty strong unit. That's just pulling the truck right there. Um, it's definitely a capable winch if you got a heavy uh, crawler, like a comp rig or something like that. Uh, it's definitely capable of lifting that truck. It lifted the Corvette, no problem. And then <clears throat> the actual uh, bed here. Oops, hit the buttons there. Uh, we can slide it out here. And it does have stops. I don't know if our bench is low. So I just hit a stop there. It's got a switch. Um, then we can go lift it up. Give you the full range of motion here. And we'll look underneath here real quick. So there it is there, fully up and down. Now this is quite an angle here. I don't imagine most people will be using it quite that high. Uh, but you can see underneath they got two pistons uh, hooked to an actuator. Uh, they got a couple kill switches and then these roller bearings that it sits on. And then they got a string uh, hooked to a uh, another little motor that pulls it in and out. Um, so it's a pretty sweet setup. Uh, the 110 Rod Shop guys uh, definitely give them a uh, pat on the back because this is a pretty sweet setup. Now, actually installing the unit is definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, me and Justin ended up putting this in. Uh, by far and away, the lights were the most difficult part because we had to rewire the entire bed. Um, but it was definitely worth it. I mean, having the lights on this thing is is really uh, what makes it. Um, and we can go out with it too. I didn't go out with it. I'll bring it back in. See that? Bring it down. Maybe not the fastest, but it works pretty good. Went too far forward with it there. There you go. You can run the winch and basically pull up anything up on these wheel tracks, which are adjustable. If you got bigger uh, sorry, uh, size tires and cars, um, they kind of just kind of pre-place them, but they're bigger or smaller, which is pretty nice. Uh, we use the Traxxas Corvette and it uh, seems to work really well. Um, this truck we will have for sale up here in the shop. We just wanted to install the bed, get it functioning, uh, and then we're going to put it out there brand new. 
Uh, but I just wanted to show it off to you guys beforehand. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.